Today we're test driving and checking out a 1969 Olds 442 convertible. It's a factory 455 car as well. It's got a dual, dual four setup. Yep. Um, factory clock works. The tag doesn't work. Horn works. I do have a brand new uh, wood grain wheel. This one will still come with it, but it's broke on the top mm -hmm. side. So I got a brand new wood grain that comes with it that we're going to install. It's got tilt wheel. Heater fan works good. It is an air conditioning car. Okay was a factory power antenna, that does not work. Power top works great. Wipers work. Power locks do not work, but all four power windows work perfect. Really a highly optimal car for the factory. Yeah, it really is. Power steering, power disc brakes in the front. Um, it's got a aftermarket radio here, but it does have a CD player inside that does work. a mean looking car. Man, it shifts great, don't it? That does. Beautiful shifts. Look how nice it goes down the road. 80, 85. Speedometer really seems pretty accurate on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Speedometer works perfect. Gas gauge works. Suspension, everything feels real good on it too. What's that? Suspension, everything feels real oh, good also. Super tight. It's got all new tires on it, wheels. I mean, it's had a lot of work done recently on the suspension. Here's our brakes real quick, as long as we're talking about it. Nice stop, nice and straight. It's a sweet yeah. old. Yeah, for a dual four setup, it really idles down nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Really does. We'll get her back to the shop and go around it. This is a sharp looking 1969 Olds 442 convertible. Yeah, a real 442 convertible done into a Hearst Olds clone. Um, it's got a 455 with dual quads. And what about the stance? I mean, the stance is my favorite part about this Olds. Yeah, great stance. And just the fact that it's a real deal 455, 442 convertible. You just don't, don't see them very often at all. Look at that dual quads, air conditioning. Pretty cool, huh? Really high option car. Power locks, power windows, air conditioning. It's got it all. In our, uh, you know, we kind of went through what works and what don't work as far as uh, when we went through the, uh, the dry portion of the video. The bottom of the hood's really solid. Just a nice driver quality under the hood. You can see just a little bit of a you know, the inner fender paint, the black, isn't quite as nice as the outside paint, but all in all, I mean, really good. Good looking motor, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I love the uh, Hearst Olds hood scoop on these. We used to have one of these years and years ago, maybe 15, 20 years ago. This one came out of Florida um, we bought it from a guy in Iowa. He bought it from his uh, uncle um, that had the car for between 20 and 30 years in Florida in his collection. So he bought it. Uh, he owned it for like a year and a half, two years, put new tires on it, new wheels, just went through it mechanically, made it a heck of a lot better than when he bought it. And um, that's kind of the story on this 442. Very nice. We got disc brakes in the front. Back of the hood really lines up nicely. Top of the hood, fender all the way down that door. Um, the gold looks great all the way along the bottom. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're gonna have about 15 to 20 photos of the undercarriage as well. Love the rear wing, all the decals, spoilers. 
striping, looks great. You got the 442 correct bumper. Um, dual exhaust comes out just like it should there. Really straight car. Top's in great shape as well. Um, the white top, isn't it, D? I'm sure it is. Uh, power windows all work perfectly. Dash pad is beautiful. Um, does have the correct steering wheel, but uh, top of the steering wheel is broken, so we bought a brand new uh, 442, kind of the old wood grain, the real nice one, kit. So that will be installed. It's got the uh, correct shifter, console. The wood grain's in great shape. Um, bottom corner of the door looks good. Aftermarket speakers in the door. Really a good solid car. Inside is beautiful. Do you mind uh, pulling the keys and looking that trunk quick? Yeah. Um, trunk lid gap over here on the driver's side is great. Same thing on the passenger, really fits nicely. Back bumper is nice and shiny. A couple little scratches in it though. Um, trunk is amazing. Did a great job there. It's all speckled properly. We got ready. Original radios in here. That's nice. It'll probably be good to put in again someday. So you got original radio. Got light gasket set. Original spare tire. Was a power antenna, not working. Looks like we got some new gaskets for it as well. Bottom of the door fits perfectly here. Super straight car. Nice shine. Michael buffed it out beautifully. Dual exhaust is like a three inch dual exhaust, I'm pretty sure, and sounds badass, doesn't it? Yes, it does. As far as uh, bottom of the door, fits really nicely. Back of the hood lines up good. Tilt column as well, almost forgot about that. It's got all the options. I don't know what it, there's not that many that it doesn't have. Factory tack does not work, but the clock works in the tack. Oh, uh, I know what he said, I think he did a electronic ignition in it. I'm okay. Pretty sure, so oh, that's tack. why the tack's not working. Yeah, it worked up till then, he said. Um, as far as the seats go, really they're in excellent shape. Don't see much uh, wear at all on the cords. We got uh, 85,760 miles, gas gauge works very well, could be original. 